wanted to make a video on how to make a diamond knot. This is a little diamond knot here I've made earlier. Now we use these a lot in uh, soft shackles. And, uh, and you can see the knots, it's a really nice knot because it binds up on itself and it holds itself in a loop. So we use it a lot on board. We use it a lot instead of shackles and it's a really good way to, to do things that you need to release quickly. There's different methods you can use but um, all you've got to do is take the weight off and then it'll release. Obviously it needs to maintain load. So if you use it, you need to maintain load. Once you lose load, it can come undone. Especially if you have a large loop like this. Obviously if you want, um, if you want to do something that's um, gonna you know, have no load on it, well then you need to make a smaller loop and you can do that with like doing a little Bremel here or just feeding the, the Dyneema through itself. There's a lot of different ways you can make soft shackles and loops, but um, you can see if, if the smaller the loop, the, the more entrapped it is. Obviously the larger the loop, the easier it can come out. Now we use them a lot on board. You know, we use them a lot because we can make them ourselves. So the first thing you do is you grab your cord. You need both ends. I'll try and do this a little bit further away. It's a little bit hard because I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time. So you got both ends. This one here, you make a D. It's really important that the, this overlaps the top. Okay, these it's really important that you get it right or it's just it won't be the right knot and you'll end up with a mess. This one crosses over the top of the loop. Okay, over the D, then it goes around the back, then it goes over the top of this one, and then it goes through. Okay, see the loop? This this pushes through the loop and then the tail goes through it. So you end up with it's like a, a carrot bend but we're going to turn it into a diamond knot because what we're going to do is then we're going to flip it over and you can see it's going clockwise if you have a look at it both tails are going clockwise that's how you know that you've done it right it should look symmetrical it should look right if you've got one that's exiting this way and one exiting that way one clockwise and one anti-clockwise it's not right okay and then you can see in the middle here where my finger is we've got a hole Okay, so what's going to happen is the tail, this tail is going to go around the back of this and then through the hole. And the same thing's going to happen with this one. It's going to go around the back and then it's going to go up and through the hole. Okay, it looks a bit messy. It is, it's quite loose. And then what you need to do is you need to slowly tighten it. Now this is where you need to take your time and you need to do it properly. Okay, so I will now uh, pull this through here, feed it through there, and then pull it down. This one here, I will tighten by pulling it here and then back down here. And you see I've got a bit of a loose loop there, so I will then pull it through here, around here. Through here and then back down. You can see it slowly starting to tighten itself up. And then what you do is you can grab a bit, and uh, that just helps you make it a little bit neater. You see it's slowly starting to come together there. And um, this is still a lot bigger than the other one that I did before because I haven't, I haven't pulled this up tight yet. So once it's tight, you can see it gets quite a bit smaller. So what we'll do now is we'll put it around the winch. Like this, you can put it around the winch. And then I'll use uh, a pair of multi grips. Um, and what I'll do is I'll attach them to the end. And then I'll, I'll slowly just shore up each side. I'll do one and then I'll do the other side a little bit. So 
It's really hard because I'm trying to hold the camera here. So. And uh, now I'll do the other one. And I'll just do them really slow, slowly pulling them up. Now this isn't going to be used for anything special. This is just going to be going on and um, securing our lazy jacks. So I'm not really concerned about, um, you know, strength or anything like that. It, you know, it needs to hold probably about 30 or 40 kilos. So, and I know it'll do that easily. And so then there you go. You're left with a, uh, left with a really nice little diamond knot. And these things are fantastic. Okay, so we've got our lazy jacks here. Let's see where they got the mark. And what I wanted was, I wanted a way to attach them here. So this is why I made these little, I'm just showing you the little rope loops. So you can see, just down a, uh, a few wraps above here to stop it sliding up. And then down here, I've just done a clove hitch. So what I can do now is, it makes it super easy. You just wrap that around Put the lazy jacks. Oops, sorry. You just put that around the lazy jacks, and then you put the loop over. So I'll show you what I mean. Here's the lazy jacks. I'll just put them inside, and then I just pop that little rope loop over the diamond knot. It's a bit hard because I've got one hand, and then I can pull them up and pull them up really tight. And, uh, and you can see they'll just hold there. I'll undo this. Cause that's what was holding them previously. And then, and there you go. I can just move that wherever I want. And uh, because I've done the rolling hitch above, you can see here, it won't slide up. It'll slide down if I grab it, but I, I won't pull up. You see, I can put as much weight on that as I want. And then what that does, it'll just hold the lazy jacks firm and it holds them off the mast so they won't flap and bang against the mast. And, uh, and then when we need to lose the la use the lazy jacks, we just release them and then just let that off it's that easy and these um this type of thing is fantastic because uh, as long as you've maintained the load which there will be the load will always be maintained because i'll tie this off uh, you've got no worries you know you can use these for all sorts of things and uh, you can make them yourself really easy and uh, and they're soft you can attach them anywhere fantastic Okay, so there you go, both of them secure. One here on the starboard side, one on the port side. Obviously I'm looking aft. And then yeah, it just secures itself with a little little knot there going through the loop. Super easy to get on and off. As soon as we release the load, we'll just be able to pop the loop over the top of the knot and release the lazy jacks. Yeah, nice and easy.